Hey everybody, it's Derek with Night Water Project, nightwaterproject.com. Check out our website and more for some unique original music as well as some cover songs including Taylor Swift, Bon Jovi, Ed Sheeran, Imagine Dragons, and many more. It's mainstream music, but better. For those of you who have not heard, uh, the Reading Eagle Company, who, is, who distributes uh, and prints the... Uh, Local newspaper in uh, eastern Pennsylvania, in Berks County, um, filed for bankruptcy um, a bit ago, and uh, they will meet no more. Actually, another company is going to be taking them over. I think they bid uh, on them for $5 million. Uh, I could be wrong with that number, but um, yeah, so they'll be taken over by a larger company um, who bid on them. But with that being said, um, WEU, which is 8.30 a.m. Um, station on radio, they will be no more. Um, the company that purchased the Running Eagle and WEU said in a statement that they will not be pursuing keeping WEU open, and <clears throat> so that's that. So the reason why I'm doing this video is this. WEU is one was one of the last local radio stations that played original music. Unfortunately, because of their business model and lack of funds, etc., um, WEU um, and Reading Eagle Company, WEU is actually under the Reading Eagle Company, they own them, but um, lack of funds etc. is the reason why uh, they fell into this this boat. Um, and the company that is deciding to purchase them does not want to continue the radio station. So, like I said, this is one of the last original, uh, the last uh, local radio stations that actually hosted uh, original music, local musicians, played their songs, and so forth. So as a local artist and local musician, singer-songwriter, I am pretty devastated by this news. Um, there really is no one left to, to do this um, around here. There's one in Lancaster and there might be one in Harrisburg yet, but uh, the, big, the big radio stations such as iHeartRadio um, and some others, uh, they honestly could care less about local music and local musicians. If you do not have a record company and you're not into that whole politics perspective, um, they could care less honestly about you as a musician. There's another local radio station called Y102 and they used to have a local show um, that was in the middle of the night and uh, they just, iHeartRadio I guess decided not to uh, do that anymore. So uh, it's a shame, it really is, because you have so many local artists, whether it's around here or other parts of the United States or the globe, and these big media companies don't want to do any of that. They don't want to support local music or anything like that. And it's a shame because they'd rather play, you know, they'd rather play the same 20 songs over and over again on mainstream radio, which really sucks. But, um,. Yeah. What are your thoughts on that? Let me hear your thoughts in the uh, comment section. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's really devastating as a uh, local artist because people who are trying to get their music out there, thank goodness for iTunes and Amazon and, and all those because you reach a lot more than, than local stations. But for gosh sakes, it's in your backyard. And uh, yeah, it's a shame. It, it really is a shame. But uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts. Um, uh, life goes on, of course, but uh, there's really no local music stations around here anymore. 